Hello, good morning, students. Now, we completed a, a most important part of the evidence set. And uh, just now, somebody asked me a doubt. That is very good, even for general purpose also, for the subject purpose also. It is why I told uh, her that uh, I'm going to answer that question in the live session. So that all the students will get a benefit out of it. Now, what we are studying is that when a particular thing happens, how the judiciary is supposed to react to it, how the public are supposed to bring that particular fact to the notice of the court. These are the two aspects we are studying in evidence act. One aspect is that how judiciary is going to take it. And how we are going to present it. So, in a proper systematic procedure, if you submit an evidence to court, then court will accept it. And sometimes you may get a doubt that even though you are submitting the issue in, in your court, similar kind of judgment is not coming from all the courts. For example, the doubt asked by the student is relating to dying declaration. What she is saying is, when it comes to the uh, discussion of uh, dying declaration and its admissibility, Madras High Court, Bombay High Court, and Calcutta High Court, different high courts are giving different uh, opinion, whereas Supreme Court is uh, supporting the judgment of uh, one high court. It, it, it so happens because when the last is, what the last is, exact words you are supposed to read now about uh, dying declaration. When you read it, what is meant by dying declaration? Actually, a case in which a statement of relevant fact by a person who is dead or cannot be found, etc. is relevant. In, a, in any case, if a person who is not alive, a person who is uh, not uh, found, if he made a statement, when on the previous occasion, how that statement is going to be taken into consideration. It, this is the heading of the section. And further, the section says, statements written or verbal of relevant facts made by a person who is dead or who cannot be found or who has become incapable of giving evidence or whose attendance cannot be uh, procured without an amount of delay or expense which under circumstances of the case appears to the court unreasonable are themselves relevant facts in the following cases. When a person is not found, when court feels that that person's uh, presence uh, uh, is possible but with a lot of delay or uh, it is so expensive under those circumstances and when he died. Three conditions there court mentioned about dying declaration. Okay. The three sections, three conditions law mentioned. And uh, the three conditions under which cases first case when it is related to death. If, uh, if that statement is required in a case of uh, death, uh, deciding the, whether it is a murder, and in the next uh, in the cases where it is relating to a business matter, where the business transactions are going to be taken into consideration, and in the matters where the person who made the statement himself is going to be culprit self when it is a self-forming statement, and or when it gives an opinion about the public right or custom or matters, that statement, that particular statement made by a dead person or made by a person who is uh, not for case, but it is impossible unless you spend a lot of time. Can you hear me? When his presence is uh, to bring him, it, it is a very big expensive thing that it, it involves a lot of uh, uh, delay, there the court is going to take into consideration his statement and his statement must, must be directly related to death, business or relating to any public right. So, and it, when, whether it is related to any existing relation between two persons or not and when it is related to a bill and when it is related to a document and when it is made before several persons. He made that statement publicly, later he is uh, not appearing. In all these conditions, the statement is going to be taken into consideration as a dying declaration. Okay? When they are taking this statement as admissible, what they are mentioning, 
when the court is having that opinion means who is a court if i put a question to you people so many students almost uh, 20 students are there approximately and uh, some of you might have uh, 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 watching it clearly and some of you are not apply, applying your mind and the, some of you are having developing your own ideas under those conditions if i put a question to you what you do different answers will come unless i ask a particular fact a date whether today is tuesday or monday you all know one answer only except uh, people like me who forget the dates often so when this like that when it is your choice when i am supposed to take the next class if i put this question what is the difference between i am going i am going to take the class on monday next monday i am going to next sunday uh, uh, monday i am going to take the class i announced it clearly and now the, there is no option for you only two things okay to attend the class second not to attend the class and give the reason if i am satisfied with the answer anangani mutni it's my discretion i myself deciding whether your answer is correct or not but if i put a question whether sunday is 7th or july 7th or july 14th then if you say july 14th is sunday my discretion is not there am i right do you understand the difference when i ask you coming sunday i am going to take class and when i when you are expecting me to take the next class two different things are there one thing choice i am deciding the fact and putting it before you and the second one is choice is in your hands i am putting it here the entire thing in your hands and the ball is in your court you are supposed to take a decision like this if you different difference are difference in is opinion and fact opinion change as per the uh, as per our discussion and the fact cannot be changed exactly that is why that is the difference wherever they are saying that a fact the fact is that the statement given by a person who is right and the person who is not found the person whose presence is not is required but not possible to bring him therefore under these can first one a person is dead there is no choice for the court whether he is dead or not the second one his whereabouts are unknown there also even though they ask the police when he is unknown the police will come and inform the same thing but the third one it is the discussion of the court whether to uh, uh, admit the previous statement or to call him even though it, it, it delay the proceedings even though it takes a lot of uh, time or money whatever it may be so where because the discretion is given to the judiciary like that only when they are coming to decide a fact whether the fact is genuine or not whether the fact is correct or not to decide these facts when the discretion is given to the judge basing on the conditions it depends on so many conditions even though the issue is same in your family also you yourself once close your eyes and remember when something is happening in your family you want to go to a movie or a picnic and your father is not not accepting and one of the brothers and sisters is having that capability to convince him others are not able because that person in a re- reasoning uh, with a reason in a systematic procedure is submitting it to him therefore when a case is presented before different judges in different courts madras high court the case is submitted to him and the judge arguments are submitted in a, by a different persons and in bombay somebody else in kolkata somebody else under those circumstances the focus might have shifted from one point to another point that result into a judgment of different kinds when different judgments are coming for all the lower courts of that state that high court judgment is binding and when it is binding they must follow the same judgment but once when different kinds of judgments are given by different uh, high courts last and final the supreme court will give one word that opinion if you read it whether supreme court is saying that it is applicable to all or not ratio decidedly obeter dicta two different words are there obeter dicta ante opinion is expressed by the court whereas ratio decidedly means a, a, a direction is given by the higher authority to all the courts generally when a high court is giving a judgment they find the facts related to that case and pronounce the judgment which is related to that case only but in certain cases those cases are known as landmark cases those cases are lo- because 
from those cases you are supposed to follow the uh, rules and regulations uh, uh, directed by the court so supreme court when is directing something you must give it and if without any particular direction supreme court opens that madras high court is correct or they are supporting the judgment of madras high court then if andhra pradesh high court or telangana high court or punjab high court some other high court from the entire country wants to pronounce a judgment against the judgment of supreme court then they are able to give, to give the judgment like bombay court or calcutta court where they are supposed to state the reason with the reasoning they are at liberty to give a judgment which is not supported by supreme court because supreme court judgment is not a ratio decisionally where there is no special guidelines to the lower courts to follow the same procedure generally but if my principles are say something i will obey it even though i like it or not if i don't like it i come out and i will make a comment with the students that see principles are saying to do these things but i don't like but because there it is an obligation on the part of me i cannot say no i am working under him hence i must follow him like this i make comments now his presence I, sometimes if i am courageous i may say in on his face also so i don't like sir i don't i am not interested but i must because it is a direction if it is not a direction if we simply express durga this might be good i i like this procedure like this if you say something then it is not binding on me but still when he says that he is impressed by this way of working and he is not impressed by this other way of working i prefer the one which he is which is impressing him more because i want to impress him when i do in that work procedure work it will therefore in that condition when there is a cardinal relation if someone is a rebel and who always wants to do something against the other or something something against the higher that is that is different but normal condition what i am saying is therefore when some some expressed by higher that is stating that i like this automatically because they like it to impress them we want to go in that procedure only therefore 99% when supreme court express an opinion that actually they are feeling like this they are, and automatically all the lower courts are binding on it and whenever they want to say something against it they are at liberty to say where they give the reason with the reasoning they can go against it but when supreme court says that we feel like this according to our feeling it is not this case we are discussing this case in chapatla the present system of that particular section 497 itself is not uh, applicable to the present scenario as we recommend the government to repeal the section or else we are not considering that section like this if they pronounce anything in their judgment any of these words nen rendu mood words endu cheptunnante whatever may be the wording of the judgment but end of the day when supreme court says that this particular section is not appropriate this particular fact is not appropriate automatically that is not appropriate in dying declarations or in statements made by a person manake chudandi gossiping means what actually we say that so and so person said so nenu unnan ikkada when the students are uh, when sri devi makes a phone call i am at liberty to uh, say that uh, pande is like this pande is like that again when pande makes a phone call i will say that see jampana behaves like this he is a bad boy because and you people also will encourage and you will speak like this again when you may meet that is because when a person is not there in his absence we will interpret his statements in different ways and we will create a lot of nonsense therefore unless and other uh, 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 unless there is a strong evidence relating to the statements made by a person who is not available for the court court is not going to consider those statements as strong evidence but dying declaration is always a strong evidence provided it is not challenged by the other party properly and there is no omission or contradiction or no suspicion for the judiciary to, to accept that statement so whenever it is uh, suspicious when it becomes suspicious when two three dying declarations are given by a person when there is a possibility of mental problem to that particular person fitness of the um mind physical or mental fitness of the person is going to decide the statement of a person when you are uh, not good in health when if i make a phone call and i starts to speak with you what you will do there is there is no need of observing any mental problem a pandey unnadu kada he is going to office and he is working 
covid situation india very dangerous for the position is moving out so our conditions were just before he is going out and i make a phone call normal conditions if i make a phone call what he will do you are my guru you are god you are this you are that he will say so many things that he prays me but when he has he is in the urgency of the work and he is his mind is completely with tension because he is going to meet so many sick people and what is going to happen who is coming thinking like at that time i started to make a phone call and i started to discuss with the subject with him immediately his tone will be different in both the conditions first condition he will be more polite and he says that i am goddess the second condition he will shout at me and in the evening again he will come to home and he may say something else like this only for that is common phenomena and for that reason only if a patient is sick and is not in a position to answer properly what is covid uh, uh, fear actually for to people not because of the symptoms of the covid but because of the thought of, uh, thought in the mind about covid we are getting afraid and we are become pa- uh, panic not because we are affected by it but because it's a pandemic it is what we heard and if it comes to something will happen with that thought we are uh, dying every day therefore the mental state is there you cannot answer properly for that reason only what is your state of mind to be decided in the case and whether the statement is corroborated with other statements or not and whether the particular person who is dying is capable of giving the answer properly or not these things to be certified by a doctor properly if all those things are doubted and there is no reason to suspect that particular statement then it is 100% valid that is what supreme court or other high courts are said once again you go through all those statements and uh, if not you send me the same judgments to me tomorrow in the class we will discuss those judgments only particularly specific only those judgments we can discuss and if today by 12 o'clock if you send those judgments to me i will send all uh, those judgments to all the students so that all these students who are interestingly participating in the live conversation every day will read those judgments by tomorrow morning and they to participate and they will express, express their opinion for this reason only whenever there is a like that only what is meant by cruelty in a case what is meant by cruelty removing the mangal sutra is cruelty not wearing the sindur emotes to cruelty but in every case is it, is it so none of us are wearing them whenever we don't have the time we sometimes we don't know whether there is any sindur or not after going out somebody notices and says that what is that face you are looking like this something strange now i notice and we don't know about it we simply casually go there because in these cases uh, we are not going to get a divorce in, in, in normal condition but in a particular condition a wife and husband breaching up to the supreme court only because of the sindur why that sindur became a point to decide by a court means there something happened because she is not wearing the sindur from that point a big issue arisen in between two persons which led them to file a petition before the court their court needed to decide in our life we will, to me no one will decide whether to wear the sindur or not but to that person where it becomes a big issue between wife and husband and there where the husband feels it is a cruelty there if he expresses the reasons basing on the conditions supreme court is saying that not wearing the mangal sutra amounts to cruelty but where supreme court is not declaring that if supreme court declares that all the ladies who are not having uh, uh, not wearing that particular mangal sutra are going to be de- uh, treated as divorced and uh, their marriages will be void is it is the state if it is so it is binding for all is that type of statement anywhere generally that type of statement is not going to be there because that statement is related to this particular case here one particular person approached the court where the dying declaration law there is some reason to suspicion because of that suspicion court is in dilemma whether to accept it because of that suspicion of the lower court they took one stand to believe or not and when an appeal is came before supreme court if supreme court is not satisfied with the judgment pronounced by the lower court that is the high court then supreme court will say that because of these reasons even though you are feeling this is a dying declaration is vague it is not vague hence i am supporting it like the supreme court will give a judgment where they are saying only simple pronouncing simple words stating that what lawyer court said is not uh, sat- we the supreme court is not satisfied with the uh, explanation given by the party in the lower court hence we are not believing that 
we are uh, giving the statement in support of uh, uh, the other party hence we are deciding the case in a different way and can they give the judgment then that is not a binding judgment it can be or cannot it may be or may not be accepted by the lower courts but there the supreme court says, says lower words whenever you are dealing with the dying declaration matters i am issuing the guidelines as per these guidelines you are supposed to decide whether a dying declaration is valid or not here it is a ratio decided a direction to other cases a landmark judgment it must be followed by all the high courts whenever any high courts wants to deviate why they are de deviating from that particular judgment how that judgment is not applicable to this case they are they, are, they must particularly mention in the judgment so when high court the supreme court simply says that whatever happened in the sir, madras high court is valid there that that is not a binding judgment but if supreme court says we are admitting the case for, for example uh, sarita venkat subaya case in your family court matters lo there is a harinder kaur i think the other name i am having less remembrance for power when you ask this type of questions sometimes i forget about the subjects so harinder kaur and the name of the other party uh, sarita venkat subaya case is different from harinder kaur case when two different kinds of judgments came in those two different cases supreme court supported the judgment given in the other delhi court there supreme court not only upheld the judgment given in delhi court but specifically they mentioned that this is what they are supposed to do guidelines are issued as the judgment is must be followed from their onwards now i think uh, uh, i you all understood this akash sivasekar divya vamsi prasam and some other students names are missing sri devi they are not there some more students i am expecting anyhow do you have any clarity now when supreme court judgment to be followed when not next uh, some question is there i didn't notice so where is it written or mentioned in judgment that the judgment is opinion or decision where is it mentioned they are not going to clearly uh, mention that this judgment is a opinion or this judgment is a uh, decision always they will they will decide the case and uh, it is any opinion of supreme court uh, giving in the judgment is a uh, judgment where they mention means by reading the lines you can understand simply if suppose there is a case sarita venkat subaya case is there while deciding in lower court uh, the judgment is given against uh, sarita and it is given in favor of her husband and an appeal filed before supreme court while dealing with the case if supreme court opens that in this case i have we went to gone through the facts submitted by both the petitioner and respondent we heard the arguments we scrutinized the entire evidence submitted by the uh, parties and now this honorable court is satisfied with the arguments submitted by the petitioner uh, sarita because so and so grounds are in favor of her and finally uh, we are giving a judgment in favor of uh, the petitioner and we are dismissing the case of the respondent in this case they simply saying we are supporting petitioner the respondent evidence we are not satisfied i am not satisfied with the respondent evidence i am satisfied with the evidence of petitioner this is what supreme court said means that is the opinion relating to that case only but apart from that while this uh, saying so they will say it is a inhuman activity by forcing a woman to stay with her husband ikkada they are saying about a woman okay not not the petitioner it, it applicable to all automatically that statement is so he hence uh, we this supreme court directs a supreme court is deciding the case against this particular inhuman activity as stated in the restitution of conjugal rights this is a binding statement because they are not saying that the petition is correct or wrong they are saying that the fact mentioned by the petitioner herself is an inhuman activity which are not supposed to be encouraged in the society when supreme court is saying that that particular act whoever doing that act all those persons are false that is what supreme court is saying and in only 
petitioner's statement is correct and petitioner uh, evidence is allowed and then if they are saying then it is only for petitioner okay the by reading the entire judgment you can clearly understand this particular point and tomorrow if you send me those judgments with the help of the, because now i don't know those those particular citations i am giving an explanation in general but tomorrow if you send those judgments also if you are having any doubts related to these things i i, I am ready to discuss those judgments particularly and i will show you how you can identify whether a particular judgment is a landmark or not and the second most important thing is because certain judgments are landmark judgments are having a binding nature you are reading them in your subjects because they are landmark judgments and the next again once if a landmark judgment is given by a court who can uh, go against it again supreme court only supreme court is only having a uh, uh, authority to decide against this judgment and in the next case they may declare that because of the changing circumstances at one particular stage 498a is the uh, act to throw off all the ladies in the biggest weapon if it is just a dismissal of a slp by supreme court then is it the decision of conclusion of no it is not in the facts and circumstances given case court came to the conclusion and gave a uh, judgment and dismissed the slp therefore it is not having any kind of binding nature it is only applicable to those two parties who are filing the case but if say at the time of dismissal because there is a delay of 5 5 years it is of no use uh, in admitting a case of 5 uh, years hence we are directing uh, a delay of 5 years uh, should not be co uh, co considered by any court like this if the, and we are dismissing like this if they give any particular uh, opinion that opinion itself is a direction it is not opinion there are a court ke opinions undo general ga decisions are directions either relating to this single case or to all the cases because supreme court is the head of all the courts it is why when they are giving a judgment the judgment is applicable to all the courts when they mention it if they are not mentioning that this judgment is applicable to all the case, all the situation and then whether they are saying that the facts in this case are in support of petitioner or respondent or whether they are saying that the facts in this case are something in favor of all the regular conditions that point to be taken into consideration nursing can be a neglecting daily course of home by wife husband amounts to cruelty of children and family does it constitute to a court's opinion or fact opinion and a fact fact finding in matter decision will be given basing on their opinion they will give a uh, uh, judgment but that opinion cannot be vague it will it will be based on legal uh, support that is um, evidence submitted by the parties and the uh, decisions given by the previous uh, courts in the previous cases supreme court also will take into consideration of uh, previous cases while giving the judgments therefore i have used previous judgments and the next one is the law prevails in the country at that particular time so 1955 daga a person is at liberty to go for second marriage but after 1955 particularly for hindus i am saying hindu marriage act therefore after that he is not entitled to go for second marriage it becomes illegal one day before he is having the right to go for second marriage or else his first marriage if at all he postponed next day he cannot go for it because it is going to become illegal like this when the law says that is that prevails and the second one when a judgment says judgment saying at e persons so there is a bigamy hence there is no bigamy like this if they are giving a judgment it is valid and can can a neglecting daily course of home by wife husband amount to cruelty now tell me one thing daily i am receiving so many whatsapp messages particularly because of this covid no one is having any other work except to forward the uh, messages there are so many idle things are said like andaru neethi vakyal pettestunte continuous ga is there any religion is there any great person is there any priest is there any other god man who says that do the bad things everyone unnara world everyone will say be honest be good be do like you know okay idol you must be an idol person but in real life it is not possible so padrushal maatlar mante ikkada i will speak nicely with you but if you irritate me my voice will be different okka da intiki vachi na tho ma ammayi tho maatladepudu chudu my voice will be something different from what my voice is here because 
here i am giving a lecture so i will be more polite but in my house i am not so day to day housewife husband problems and coach cannot take them as a uh, cruelty it differ from case to case it differ from person to person one person committed suicide and it so happened nepotism ani oka cinema hero after getting so many hits he committed suicide because he is not in a position to tolerate but what about all the other heroes who came from that uh, uh, down to uh, ethnicity that highest position akshay kumar and so many other heroes are there who without any film background without any film support how they reached the top position kangana ranaut who, who is speaking so much about uh, that thing and whether she is having any background in the industry all the first so it it varies from mind to mind and can you to which extent you will take it seriously to which extent not your mental condition basing on the mental condition you will take it if you are so serious about it even a single word if i say in the in, in group generally if i make a comment comment you are going to take it seriously if you are uh, uh, so strong even if i mention your name particularly nursing i am commenting you and if i make any comment you will take it lightly it all depends on the mental condition therefore when a particular couple enter the court with their problem in that particular case basing on the conditions evidence is submitted by both the parties court will take a decision separately so there is no particular definition to the word cruelty in different cases in one co- one case court says that removing of mangal sutra is cruelty in another case even if why favorite bits husband court may say it is correct because it depends on the facts of that case so court itself is not going to give any particular definition to the word cruelty the it depends on the circumstances when that how the children or family is affecting by the particular behavior of husband whether that behavior is a normal behavior or not this is what called judicial notice generally you can take a note of the, these things in normal conditions so basing on those, those things for these things when it is relating to a marriage hindu marriage christian marriage or muslim marriage to decide these marriages muslim marriage of course is fixed by law but about remaining two things when they are taking it into consideration they will take the present circumstances and the position of that particular family apart from those things what the law says whether law is whenever there is any such word generally law is not going to define it 100% to some extent they will give a general definition to that word and they say that depending on the circumstances court will take a decision on what was the for the dying declaration also the same thing is written in the law just now i read it whenever the court feels therefore how the court is going to take them into a consideration so there when a was murdered by b to decide this case when a dies of an injury injuries which is revealed re- re- received by transaction of course when she is ravished whether he, that particular thing is happened or not all the other points are going to become irrelevant except apart from the dying declaration given by that particular uh, person therefore and the same thing will uh, change for the other case and sometimes you may not be in a position to speak properly once i explained in class i think about this my cousin is there he is of age of 40 years or so uh, at that time 35 40 years age in 40 years na kante kuda he is elder to me he received a notice from somebody and with that notice uh, with lot of fear he came to my home sister chudu this entra iskuna hey nothing uh, there is a notice call uh, court is calling you to come to court and give an evidence something happened in your office and that some 10 years back when i am working in another company there the boss and some other person got some uh, issue where uh, a big fight taken place in between these two persons and that other, other person started to create nonsense in the office so under those circumstances my boss gave a complaint and his boss asked me to give a complaint to call the police because he is district in the entire office so i made a call to police police recorded the statement from me he said then i told him you are not a witness you are a complainant and where is your boss at that company is closed boss died and i i forgot who is that person also actually he said so company closed boss died now who to meet go to court and say the same thing i told you you come with me you also come with me and i went there and as because it is a small thing nothing is there to decide actually that is what we are going to inform to the court so i am little bit careful and i am standing outside the um, door and speaking with someone and this case called accused name called by the court 
and accusedly is not present actually but uh, my brother went there and he immediately my cousin he said sir i am the so and so person he <laughs> really shocked immediately i ran there judge has started to write something sir please excuse me what he is my brother sir actually he is the complainant he will, everybody laughed in the court basically because he became panic first time he is coming to court by seeing that entire environment even though he is party plus not an elephant he is a, a post graduate uh, highly qualified still working somewhere but still he got afraid of everything facing a wife at home courageously daily but failed to face the court to court environment so he became panic and started to say that i am the accused therefore he conditions law this condition is it is there in any textbook is it is available for, for any judge or any other person what the judge is supposed to do whether they can take that false statement as a um, uh, confession or admission not kada because their the court will apply their own uh, think and they notice what is happening they can understand they are, they will in that particular circumstances so what is apt for that circumstances that they will mention there okay and can you whenever it comes to matrimonial issues even though if we like the women we say that men are bad if we like men we we say that women are bad women men no one is good or bad only circumstances are good or bad all are same but particular circumstances so one particular issue will hurt our feelings okay so if that that issue changes our feelings will change and can you, you are, in any case you, you are supposed to take like this one and can dying declaration matters also whenever a dying declaration is taken by court into consideration there at the time of taking that particular dying declaration into consideration court will say about the admissibility of dying declaration most of the cases when there is not when the person who made the statement is not available in the absence of you people nurse nursing is not there in front of me and all other students are there then i can successfully inject in their mind that nursing is a bad way and in whatever i, I want to project your character will be molded by me by my speech as per my convenience this possibility is there always and can in the absence of a person don't speak something anything whenever you want to speak if there is a rama there is ravana too exactly and can a conditions lo ne whenever you are making a statement in the absence of a person the absence lo ne meeda na note kochin vani chepte when my students are hearing what the students will feel the first first most important feeling to my students is because madam saying man classmate bad entered a few persons who are so closely associated to you may suspect me when you are unanswered the questions are unanswered by you then the, the, it is not uh, good to depend on those statements when they appears to be suspicious the conditions never because of these things whenever a dying declaration is taken into consideration and the uh, um, defense counsel successfully creates a suspicion a doubt in the minds of the court at the time of inquiry about the credit worthiness of that particular dying declaration by showing that the mental condition is not fit uh, that particular person is not so confident in giving the dying declaration it is why it is vague it is not clear it is not recorded in, a, in an appropriate time it is recorded after influenced by so many persons like this if they create any doubt in the mind of the court dying declarations are not going to take into consideration otherwise supreme court always said that dying declarations are completely valid strong evidence but whenever this type of suspicion is there in the minds of the uh, 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 defense counsel and they successfully brought them to the notice of the court there it is the duty of the prosecution to prove it beyond reasonable doubt otherwise they cannot so uh, the dada machindra case or whatever cases you read you send me those cases and tomorrow uh, basing on those cases i will clearly explain how supreme court are taking anything and anyhow uh, I, i congratulate the students who are asking such a good doubts and uh, now it is already 10:15 i simply start what is meant by judicial notice and uh, tomorrow i will continue if i clarify the doubt what is meant by a leading case and what is meant by an ordinary case ordinary case the judgments need not be followed leading case where supreme court specifically says now onwards 
we are uh, directing we are uh, this is a direction to all the course and it is to be followed it is to be taken into consideration it, uh, it is to be noted by the course at the time of pronouncing the uh, judgment and when landmarks is there like that only when it came to kushbu case which nappudu that is a landmark judgment where supreme court gave certain guidelines to all the cases where a living relationship is going to be decided whenever we want to decide a living relationship we have to follow this guidelines and read the kushbu case what what is meant by directions given by supreme court you can understand 377 section case you can read it if you read those cases landmark judgments chadina pudu there there will be a specific direction by the court that even though the direction is not there supreme court judgment ke against ke velaledu kaani when there is no such direction there will be so many supreme court judgments in some cases basing on the facts supreme court will give some judgment they announce the pronounce the judgment in favor of husband in some other cases they pronounce in favor of the wife they sometimes they acquit a person and sometimes they will uh, convict a person so there will be different kinds of judgments in different cases any cases who accused by the minister uh, complaint to the minister declared rules and laws with the basing on the facts presented by the person the evidence available and how far you are successful in presenting the case before the court we crucial things that are going to decide so it and but okok case lo okok person gelustu untaru so whenever a person is winning the case whenever a person is losing the case basing on all these con- conditions different judgments will be there you who can if you are filing the case on behalf of the accused take the judgments where supreme court is uh, giving uh, uh, acquittal and if you are arguing on behalf of the complainant then take the support of the judgments where supreme court is uh convicting the accused so conviction and acquittal and if you search for the cases you will get both type of cases but certain cases will be there which are laid landmark judgments and under those landmark judgments once if supreme court decides so and so thing to be 377 meter if you want to file a section you must follow the guidelines of supreme court only unless and until you follow those guidelines like that only 498 arrest you are not supposed to arrest sipi sir i beg you are not supposed to arrest the bell. family members don't harass the family members and are they not for this case for all the cases don't harass the family members of your woman when she is filing the 498 against illas and other persons first to see whether all those family members really involved in the case or not they are not saying the section itself is bad they are saying certain things where women out of uh, some kind of uh, uh, retaliation mood uh, they are giving complaint against all the family members so the a counseling lo they want to change their mind and they want to go back to as well there it is impossible this is probably wait now will come in between these two persons and it results into so many things and can you go through the judgments and whenever you get any doubt like this first of all i am congratulating that student who asked me the doubt and second thing now i think uh, this is very helpful to all the students a very important doubt actually everybody must get it if you read the judgments you will get this doubt okay yes ma'am okay now any more doubts could you section 57 judicial notice judicial notice means what any idea yesterday edo kodi discuss chesinatunnam kada judicial notice ante ippudu daaka whatever we said when a person is filing the case when a person is facing the trial filed against him in both these conditions it is the obligation or duty of those two persons to bring some supporting corroborative evidence in the form of uh, facts admissions confessions dying declarations or what not whatever may be any rakal people they themselves are facing now notice of judiciary and tt ikkada this is a legal obligation on the part of the judiciary notice of the judiciary come under kabatti it is not giving judges any liberty to say whatever they opine but the judiciary they are the legal obligation where they are noticing something and they are observing the something according to that observation they are declaring certain facts and they are admitting certain facts without any further enquiry when there is an evidence according to that evidence court will decide a matter that is different but when there is no such evidence available in any particular thing there also court is going to decide a particular issue ent the then there is a law and the there is no need of pleading the law in the plates that is why even on sunday when i sent the copy to all of you there i clear
clearly mentioned write the brief facts of the case there is no need of, if you write the brief facts of the case then court itself is going to take a decision whether these facts are fit for the uh, uh, admission or not if they feel it is possible to admit it court will admit it if not court will reject your plea and then whenever a particular case is submitted to the court it is the due where there is no need of only your connection is unstable enough for now tell me something i am very good guy you are a very good guy is it is judicial noticeable thing yes okay whenever a self harming statement is given it is noticeable but whenever a statement is given by a person like this anyhow because you are my student i will say that only if i say that my students are not good then uh, it will be against my credit worthy public will laugh at me so to show uh, uh, how great i am i am supposed to say that my students are great therefore i will say it notice of judiciary is nothing but certain facts are there which judicial notice of fact of that particular uh, thing to be taken into consideration then ki some cases are there in those cases court decided it is jay shankar prasad is a blind person and against the state of bihar this case actually even government uh, the, the not even provide any advocate he is, he is appointed in a post after that uh, some uh, case is filed co warrant of okay, case is filed by uh, the other uh, an advocate where uh, court in detail discussed about how court is taking uh, voluntarily notice and uh, dismiss in that particular petition therefore when it comes to the decide a particular issue blindness and the special skills of that person then court is uh, uh, academic matters court how court will take them into notice akada point to be mentioned by the court they will mention it like that only general ga meeku section 57 lo yesterday we read certain facts laws whatever law is there in the state that is going to be taken into uh, judicial notice but if it is a foreign law matrimony divorce case 498 a 497 um, promise note negotiable instrument section 138 anangane em chestaru 138 anangane what you will say immediately which section is it 138 ani dan ekkada ni unnara word have you ever heard 138 section 138 none of you heard it yes sir no 138 vinara leda check boss ma'am there only in uh, uh, nai at suren suren answer me because you said that it is nai at i say i didn't said nai at i asked only order of exam uh, uh, akash because i am a evidence lecturer you, you must verify bear uh, act uh, what is 138 section in evidence act ani nai at suren answer because and uh, that uh, vishwanath also answered check boss how you said it is check boss and evidence act was uh, 138 section it is not related to check boss but because check boss cases are so famous everybody knows about them so that that can be judicially noticeable thing but if you say that section 145 of check boss act this act is there in foreign america lo i studied in america for 4 years and i worked there for 20 years out of this 24 years i noticed that so and so check boss act, act is there according to that act the case to be filed like this hence i am filing here as this case is filing against a partner i can file like this this is the relief i want from this honorable court any if a person approaches the court what he is supposed to do order of examination google it now may see you google i not tell you when you are taking this much of time i can understand that you are searching in the google but you are searching evidence act but i asked about uh, nai act those persons who are not searching anywhere will answer check boss all the persons who are because check boss cases are very famous 138 say cases and all that legal touch undal ga undi meer first year students ga okay it is but uh, therefore when a person is saying that 138 check boss case ante you need not say anything judicial notice will be there but when you say that check boss case under section 166 
or 147 of so and so foreign act american check bonds act is there according to that act i can ask for the relief and please implement that and if you file a case in the court what you will do you have to bring that particular act also to the notice of the court court need not take judicial notice of the acts made by foreign countries when you are depending on the foreign countries which are bonds matters also to matrimony issues also it may be a criminal case whatever case it may be because it is a law related to a foreign country and it is a judgment of foreign court you are supposed to bring it to the notice of the court i whatever documents you are saying you are supposed to submit to the court in support of these documents i am claiming so on so relief from india if you say that then after going through this particular act and other things which you are submitting as an evidence if court satisfies then a judgment will be pronounced in your favor otherwise not the so fact fact finding about any ho court will explain the reasons if you feel that those reasons are not correct you can go for appeal okay with this today i am concluding the subject and tomorrow judicial notice will be continued and uh, yes ma'am this comes under documentary evidence i guess exactly we will judicial notice lo uh, files other points we can discuss tomorrow and uh, with this today i am ending and uh, padma madam is waiting for her class till then bye